Hello out there in YouTube land. Old Lugnuts here with a late unboxing of a Ruger revolver that I purchased uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, my wife and I were actually out at a uh, very uh, uh, well-known uh, gun shop in uh, suburban Boston, Four Seasons, and she was actually looking for a uh, Ruger LCR in 22. Uh, and I hadn't given those much thought, but they did have a used uh, Ruger LCR in 38 Special Plus P, uh, with the added benefit of uh, it have never uh, never been shot. So somebody had bought it and then uh, turned around and traded it back in or whatever. So uh, I got the benefit of a of a pretty good deal on a uh, otherwise used revolver with uh, never having uh, you know a, uh, a retail shot through it. So uh, let's take a look at it. So. Typical Ruger box, nothing special, it's cardboard, sturdily made, there's your UPC serial number, your uh, cardboard uh, ID number for trademarks and uh, Ruger farming, carefully expected to patent pending, so on and so forth. Uh, comes in a nice box, <clears throat> open it up, and this is a, as you can see, Ruger LCR, and we'll do the box first, put this uh, towards the front. Comes with the uh, spent shell casing and uh, the date of birth. In this case, uh, February of uh, 2013. NRA information. Your Ruger owner's manual. We have the uh, slip uh, stapled to the uh, inside corner there. The excess sight systems, uh, how to kind of uh, aim, which is... Eh, I'm still working on that. Well, more on that later. Uh, thank you for purchasing your Ruger firearm, shopruger.com, 20% uh, promo code if you need any accessories. These are actually the interlock keys for the, uh, for the trigger. So uh, if you do have to transport it across state lines and maybe go to states where, while it's transported, it has to have a trigger lock or a disconnect, uh, these are actually a set of keys that uh, you take the grip off and uh, you can interlock the uh, trigger so it's sort of a nice additional safety feature if you have to uh, adhere to that on the back the uh, the old uh, old model Bearcat uh, single six and uh, Blackhawk uh, recall for uh, uh, service issue parts and accessories uh, brochure and that's about in the box sort of but if you pull out the, uh, the bottom you also have the Ruger lock which uh, in Massachusetts, uh, you pretty much have to lock up your gun even when you're shooting it, which makes shooting it pretty hard, but that's Massachusetts for you. Uh, so it's got the lock. It's got all your uh, assorted paperwork. So let's move this aside. So here's the pouch. Now, I mean, it's nothing, the pouch is nothing spectacular. It's a pretty basic pouch. It's, you know, fairly uh, nylon, heavy-duty-ish, whatever. Um, there is a little... Velcroed side pocket here. Um, the only downside of the of the uh, of this pouch for carrying is it only has one zipper. It's not a, a two-sided uh, zipper uh, where you could then put together and put a uh, a small luggage lock through. Here in Massachusetts, if you're transporting or storing it, you have to have either a trigger lock on it or it has to be in a locked container. So for transporting a dual zipper with a lock or if it had a metal clasp here that you could then run a uh, you know a padlock through it would uh, you know pretty much adhere to the Massachusetts regulations so um, nanny state as it is this pouch really doesn't uh, do you much good if you're carrying it directly on your person not a problem but you know if you've got more than one firearm that maybe you're doing some range shooting and testing for a day doesn't do you much good so you have to find an alternative to uh, safely get it there to confirm with the uh, Massachusetts regulation so but let's open it up and see what we got here so as you can see there it is Ruger LCR 38 special plus P as you can see it's still got the yellow safety tab on the wheel there I actually took it out shooting yesterday I also cleaned it but uh, I put the uh, the safety tab back in there when I'm done with it so um, I actually have a couple of uh, different uh, locking uh, systems. I have a uh, dual locked Pelican case that I do keep this in uh, so that's easy uh, easy transport. Like I said I bought this used. It had never been fired. I've taken this out uh, twice and put 50 rounds total through it. Uh, I actually did uh, uh, you know clean and oil it last night so it's uh, you know kind of shiny. A steel barrel 
steel trigger. Uh, the typical Ruger push in to open up the cylinder. We'll take the yellow safety tab out. You can see it is safety checked and empty. Uh, it is hammerless. It's a whole grip. And as you can see, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty, uh, you know, nice and small and, and, and compact. I don't know if they'd call this a subcompact, but I suppose you could when you compare it to some, uh, some other firearms. Uh, one thing about the trigger on this is it's really light and smooth. Uh, I don't know what the trigger pull is. I have a trigger scale that uh, I'll probably test with it and then annotate uh, in the comments what it is. Um, but I don't know if it's like maybe, you know, five or six pounds or whatever, but it's really nice and smooth and even. So a uh, big plus for anybody that's interested in it. The uh, whole grips make it really nice. Uh, I do believe there is a little gel packet behind here that kind of uh, softens up the, uh, the recoil. Um, for me, not having uh, used one of these before, I can go about 25 rounds or so before I start feeling a little bit of, uh, you know, my arm's getting kind of tired from uh, the recoil. But it's really not bad. It's very, uh, very manageable and uh, not as bad as I, uh, as I thought it would. So, But uh, they have one side turn it over and I don't know if you'll be able to if the camera will focus but it says Ruger LCR on the barrel 38 SP mean special plus P uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get a good sight picture it's pretty kind of a I don't want to say it's a basic sight picture but um, it, you know it's not bad I mean it's not really designed for a hundred yards or two hundred yards uh, especially with, you know, me, uh, the guy behind the camera, that's for sure. Uh, Hickok 45 probably could do 300 yards without a problem, but, uh, I mean, it, you know, it, it's passable for, you know, what I need it for. You can get, um, you know, uh, fiber uh, sights for the front if you're so interested. Uh, it does come in a model with a uh, laser as well, two different types of lasers. Uh, as I said, my wife bought a 22 uh, caliber version. They do have a 22 Magnum, which just became available in uh, Massachusetts. But hey, listen, I'm telling you, you cannot find a 22 Magnum shells anywhere in this state if your life depended on it. Uh, it also comes in uh, 357. So um, one thing about this, it's really light. Uh, comparing it to uh, my Walther PPK, this is probably going to be at least half the weight of uh, of the PPK. Um, but equally, it's, you know, it's just as, uh, you know, formidable, it does the job and, you know, it, it's quite, uh, you know, quite the, the handy little, uh, you know, concealed carry revolver. So, um, uh, as you can see, it's got a nice big opening on the, uh, the trigger guard there. So for fall or winter shooting, if you have uh, gloves or anything of that sort, uh, that'll do pretty good is the screw to, uh, take off the, uh, Pull the grips down in uh, the interlock or clean the inside if you need to. So it uh, opens up pretty good, nice and easy. And uh, there you have it, Ruger LCR 38 Special Plus P. Um, I put 50, uh, 50 shots through it so far. Um, two sessions of 25 apiece. Um, I mean, the only problem with accuracy, as I said, is the guy behind the camera. Um, my second outing out, I started to figure out where I need to aim and start uh, practicing some uh, trigger control. But uh, this was uh, the other day at the range, and so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven within uh, four inches. Uh, pretty much the rest within eight inches, and one, two, three, four, five, uh, probably six or, or you know seven flyers on that till I kind of settled down. So normally I was shooting high and to the left. And after a while, I started aiming around here, and my grouping started to come up here. So I'm still shooting a little high and a little left, but uh, nowhere near as, uh, as I was the first time. My first outing out, I was like all over the place until I uh, really started to, you know, get some, uh, you know, comfort with the gun. So this is at about 10 yards, 12 yards, uh, probably no more than 12 yards. So uh, obviously, you know, the more you practice the... Uh, the more this is really going to be a nice, uh, you know, a nice concealed carry gun to have. Um, I've ordered a, uh, a pocket holster for it, so that'll be uh, coming in within the next week or so. Um, so that'll be, uh, you know, a nice, uh, nice thing to have. So, but Ruger LCR polymer revolver, steel barrel, steel trigger, 
Um, if you're looking for something like this and uh, you know you're not a big fan of semi-automatics or especially if uh, you know you have really weak hands and maybe a, a slide is is not the best option uh, this might really be something that uh, you know as long as you know you're willing to uh, you know have a, a 38 special with uh, you know five or six pound trigger or whatever it is uh, you know this is something that uh, is probably well worth the investment and it doesn't break the bank either so I got this for uh, like I said, this was a uh, used, and this was for under 350 bucks. Massachusetts pricing, your region may vary. So, uh, you know, there you have it. So, I'm going to kind of put it back, put the uh, safety ring back on. So, for the, uh, the pouch, nothing else in the pouch, pretty plain. Uh, like I said, that's the only downside, is not having a, uh, a dual zipper and or a like a d-ring that you can actually then uh you know follow some of the state regulations but ruger lcr well worth the money fun little gun have at it shoe safe guys see ya